What's going on pros? This is Mike with another Dirty Promotions video. We're going to do a 2020 Bentley. I'm going to do demonstration on a two-stage because um, I didn't want to figure out how to remove I didn't want to figure out how to remove the panel. Um, I pulled it back and I'm able to remove it. This pretty much reminds me like of a Porsche vehicle. So this gasket has to be removed all the way over there. But I think the problem I'm going to have is putting back in I don't want to have to do that today. The great thing right here on the side, right here there is no peach fuzz. So we're gonna go ahead and do a semi difficult two stage. So you can uh, go ahead and see how, you know, different techniques and whatever. For the people that ask me about not necessarily bottom loading, they want to see two stage because they're not in a comfortable position of doing uh, bottom loading, removing sweeps and all that. It's great. Right now, I'm not comfortable removing that sweep. Very expensive vehicle. Lumar IRX. I did cut it off of a 36 inch roll because I don't have a 22 that is cut. So if I see any fingers, I'm going to have to shrink them sideways. Not the conventional way that you're used to seeing. So let, I'll check it out right now and see what's going on. All right. That, that, that will be used for one of the vent I, I computer cut not a big deal there okay I'm not seeing any fingers so we're gonna go ahead and proceed and do the regular cuts on this guy okay. not a Chevy so anything in a car like this I will go a little bit slower just be careful not to mess anything up okay there it is i'm going to show you a trick real quick that i showed in a previous video here since we're not going to remove that gasket i can see that this gasket is lower right here so i'm going to go ahead and drop it to where it's probably just over this gasket and since i did do a fresh cut i'm not going to be worried about peeling or any of that stuff i've done that stuff so many times before so Having said that, I'm not going to I'm not gonna push it down a lot. As a matter of fact, I'm going to take it to the bottom right in the edge and I'm going to raise it about an eighth of an inch. That way, when I'm at the top and I push it down a sixteenth of an inch for a very small gap at the top, this will pretty much line up and be over like a sixteenth of an inch and cover that gap. And that will be that. All right. So we're done there. Okay. Go ahead and do this. Oh, these cuts, man. All right. Bentley is nice to do. All the electronics are covered, so. Oh, let me see. We have to push that button. Oh, no, there it is. All right. So we continue our thing, our cut right here. Do this so I can take the stress away from the side. I didn't want a computer cut it because I'm not sure the pattern is going to be fitting exactly. And I love computer cut patterns, but since I'm going to do a two stage, might as well do the whole show in front of you, right? Okay. Right here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it no more than that i don't want to do anything rounding the corners here it's, to me it's awful so i don't do it that way you know why i do one thing or another okay now a reminder some of these vehicles are brand new so there's not a whole lot of extensive cleaning that you got to do but definitely scrubbing pad dishwash uh, soap solution so you can get some of this grease that's at the top out it'll help you definitely help you a lot okay i 
that's all she wrote. That sticker we're gonna remove right now. Let me just finish this real quick. All right, got it away. I right hear. It's the only time I want to use a blade. Other than that, I don't want to use a blade. I use this plastic blade, and it's a lot more comfortable that I'm not scratching no glass. Not even accidentally. Not even as a joke. Hell no. Okay. Pidieron sticker in este carro? Yep. They need a legal sticker, so let me go and pull this back up. Put a sticker real quick. We'll be on our way. No pendió el foco? Te dio toque? Okay, there it is. So no prendieron flaco? Si prendió. Pero que le dio toques? Okay. Squeegee use very soft one this is a soft like the black blade is just blue so you can pre-clean your windows all right there's that on the sides just to be sure for me i'm brushing it down a little bit using enough lube Do not touch the film. You've done such a great job up to now. Do not touch that film. Okay, this one we're gonna fold it in kind of like this. Just like that, there you go. Move it over, do your thing. Make sure there's plenty of slip in your solution. That way you do what you need to do. We're gonna go ahead and check outside right now. That's what I'm gonna do check that there is no gap of light there is none right there to the side beautiful awesomeness okay right on the edge love it love it love it love it right there Just to make sure that there is no water on the lip here. Water on the lip runs down and I hate it when the customer rolls the window down and there's like, you know, like white silvering because it's not making contact. Well, guess why it didn't make contact? It was kind of wet when you rolled it up and it dried and it opened up. So we're gonna do that. Make sure it's 100%. I want you to guys doing it slow enough so you can see step by step. <sighs> Perfection, there is nothing on there. Uh, I'm lucky it has no fuzz. So let's go ahead and roll it up. There. This guy here. I'm gonna go ahead and get some of this. Whatever, when you roll it up, this stuff right here is contaminated with fuzz, so we're gonna push it down. Push it down like this. Well, use whatever squeegee you need to. You don't need to use this tool. But do push it down because if you're going to flush it with a lot of water. Some st stuff may stay stuck in there. And going back square one, it's going to look horrible. So I'm just trying to relay the best techniques I've found along the way of so many years of application. Let's fold this guy in there. Fold him like that. No touching the film. Fold him. Fold him up. And there he is. Now, 
I mentioned to you there's going to be no gap light. The film is right here. The outside gasket is higher, so there is zero gaps of light. So we're pretty much done. Pretty much done. And that's all she wrote. All right. Before anything else, I'm just going to go ahead and show you on the outside on the Bentley what it did or it didn't do. Straight down, straight down. Okay. All right. We normally get shit around here and a crease and all that there's none there i'm very lucky but right here there's a very small crease you can see it right there we're just gonna put i'm gonna put heat on the inside versus the outside it's faster for me be done there is no gap of light on the bottom and there's your semi-difficult two-stage guys hope you enjoyed it any comments please leave them youtube facebook followers from around the world thank you for following have a great day gopro stop recording